How are you guys doing? Hey, oh my god, I cleaned you guys off. There we go. I told you guys I was gonna be back. What are you, what are you guys worried about? I told you I was gonna be back. I'm uh, I actually just took this out the other day with with my wife and my daughter. What you guys are gonna see here in a second. I was I was uh, we went out to my my old ranch. You guys remember the the lake I built? We wanted, I got permission to go out there, which was which was I mean it was really good because I mean my daughter's seven, as you guys know. You guys have been around here for a while. She's seven, kind of keeping their their focus when fishing can be kind of difficult. And uh, she was doing phenomenal. By the end of the day, she actually got the casting down. It felt so good. It felt it felt good to watch it and her to actually catch. She caught her. You guys are gonna see her catch her her first time ever casting and catching a fish herself uh, was here and it was great i got it on video and it's, it's something i'm so glad i get to share with you guys look there it is oh my god it's been a while <laughs> i got the okay from the gentleman who purchased this from me he purchased i had uh if you guys don't know this i had about a thousand acres here this was the original 200 acres i bought i built a 23 acre lake on it and then i bought the adjacent like 780 ish acres i guess i had like 980 something acres but we built this lake out here it was a it was a kind of long process as you guys do know if you guys have been along with me for the whole ride but we're here i get to actually see it for the first time absolutely filled it's filled everything's working the spillway's working it makes me feel good the first time i'm actually seeing it there it is filled the guy actually has his own little I guess he brought his own little tin rig out here but we got this. This was a spillway. Look, it actually does work. So we are full, 100% to the brim. Oh, we got the wife today and my beautiful daughter who has got her perfect sunglasses on. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. For sure, that water feels nice and warm, Avery. It's about to be a big day. We're about to catch them. I'm going to catch one on the old swim bait today. I can definitely hold that. Yeah, in my lunch. Oh, good job. I'm gonna tell you, it's a little windier than I was anticipating. My know, God. Yeah. Look, we got this going. Are you still eating your ding dong? Well, wait till you're done eating your ding dong. Let's see what we got going on here, huh? Let's see what we got going on. So, this is kind of crazy. See this thing that's coming down right here, Avery? See this little hill right here? So, this used to be the original dam right there. See the water on the backside the where those, all the duck decoys are? Huh? What? See this, this hill that comes down right here? No. That goes in the water? Right here. See this one? This little yeah. hill? So they used to go all the way across, but we actually came through with a big dozer and we pushed it all out. And then we, that used to be the small lake and we turned this all into a big one when you were like two. Now. Now it's, it is what it is. I'm just gonna go look real quick. Jeez Louise, it is so clean. You back there teaching her the ways? Whoops. Oh, that sucks. Look at this. Look at this, baby girl. Here you go. Here, Ave. Oh, Ave, here. I got fish on. Here. Come here. No, no, no. I'm daddy's on mine. <laughs> oh, my God. Here you go. Come on, reel it in. It's going to be awkward because it's the other hand. But he is on there. Guess what he's on, too. Oh, he's on there. All right, here. Here you go. Look at him. You got one. On a swim bait. Look at the size they eat, Avery. Whoa. Look at the size they eat. You want to throw them back? Hold them tight. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Call that a belly flop. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Wow. You got one? There you go. Oh my God. Reel it in your first. Come on, Ave. Oh my God. Come on. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> Our first time ever doing it. Cast a catch. Oh my god! Come on! Yeah, yeah we got it! <laughs> Good job! Man. You caught it all by yourself. Good job! You did it all by yourself. Did your hand hurt? Your finger hurt? First time yeah. ever cast the catch! Got it, got it, got it! Yes! First fish! <laughs> okay, can I throw it now? Yeah, you can. Yeah. First fish ever, Avery. Is she on a break schedule now? Yeah, she wants a break. You want a break? Okay. And I've been doing a lot of tackle. I need to throw this thing away, matter of 
fact. I, I <laughs> throw that away. I'm doing a lot of tackle reorganizing because, I mean, this boat's a little bit different than my last one. Matter of fact, I believe I'm going to be auctioning off this boat. Yes, I'm going to start it at a dollar and auction this thing off over on whatnot. Hopefully, in the next month or two, they're going to they're gonna make it to where you do long form stuff, which is kind of cool. But I got I, I to gotta wait for my... I got another one coming in, and this one's... This is an awesome boat. I mean, it really is. It's rigged out, as you guys know. Everything's going to go with it. Dude. I've got like $20,000 into this boat, and I'm going to auction it off at a dollar over on whatnot, which is really kind of cool. I've been going through a lot of my tackle, and a lot of these ones, which are... These are like Bass Mafia beginning swim baits. I don't know if you guys are big swim bait heads, but these are like the original designs of them, like all the way down to how we got to roughly... This is still not the original or the end result. This is just another prototype of them all, but this is how it all started. I've got a bunch of this kind of stuff over the years. Like I've got a bag here. I wanted to show you guys. If you guys have been on this channel for a while, a lot of the stuff you guys have seen. Oh yeah, look at this. This is so cool. Look at this. This bag. Oh, it's really difficult to see. Let me open this up. So this is full of a bunch of really cool stuff you guys have seen over the last seven years. This one, this lure is when I caught the, uh, um, what was it? It was a, uh, oh my God. I'm, it's not a giant trevally. Oh, a jack. And then it got eaten by a shark and you can see the actual, the shark's teeth marks on it. This was a really cool video. Got him. Hooked up. Fish on. All right, Rob, hooked up. Oh, he's getting chased by a shark. He's getting chased by a shark. Oh my. There we go. Oh. oh. You okay, dude? Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Put it back there in the. Uh, come on. Put it back in the box. Put back there. Get him, Rob. Get him. Oh, I'm not losing this one. Oh, to the shark. Oh, baby. Oh, my. Come on. No shark. No shark. Oh, he's right there. Yep. No shark. No shark. No shark. No shark. No. Oh, he's hot. Oh, hey, look, guys. I got your lure. That's a miracle. I got my lure. I tied a good knot. That's when I film a black tip, but all this kind of stuff that's inside of here, these are all awesome, too. Like this bait right here. I got some like this. This was uh, one of my elk calls. This is from when I killed my very first elk ever by myself. This is the original nuke punch. That's one of the original nuke punches. Here's one of our original frogs before it became anything. So I got stuff like this I've been finding. Oh, here's a bait that never even made production. Look at this. This is one of the baits. This is actually one that Scott Martin was designing. Uh, this one didn't even make production. Original frogs. Here's an original clickbait before it even became a clickbait. I mean, look out, look at this. That's what it used to look like. Look at that. We've tried so much stuff. So I got all this kind of stuff, which it's really hard to see on this boat, but that stuff, we're actually gonna be auctioning off over on the, we're making a Guggen whatnot for, for you guys, because we have so much stuff. Uh, that's It's just a lot of stuff that you can't find anywhere, like used, like our, used, like I'm gonna actually auction off and sell all my used rods that have been over the last years. Like, oh, look at all these, all these right here. All this kind of stuff. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll link at the very top of the description. Uh, we're going to host our very first show here in about a week or two. So if you guys can just go follow the account, you guys will get $15 for free. And you guys will get a bunch of bundles you guys will not be able to see anywhere. Like literally anywhere else you cannot find. Nowhere else. So, which is kind of cool. I got one. Oh my God. That's a big one. That's a big one. Oh my God. That's a big one. Oh my God. Oh no. That was huge, Avery. <laughs> that was a big one. Wow. Oh, that's a tree. Here, hold the rod. Wow, that was a big one, Avery. Jeez Louise. She's using a finesse light. Look. Avery, that was big. Here you go. Oh my God. Wow, that was like right at the bow, wasn't it? The most aggressive bite. Yeah. Maybe get it. Can we get it? Holy cow. Oh, yeah? Jeez, here you go. My God, he is mad. What's that? You don't want it? Okay. Nice. That was good. That, was, that just felt amazing. That was good. Daddy, hey, Avery. You're just going to dive. I did it. I know. You got to dive them. Head dive them. So I've spent like the last, uh, let's say, I'm going to say last, what, week or so? I don't know, filming tidbits of my day. I don't know, I, I, after after speaking with you guys inside my garage, I've got, I've been in the middle of trying to build out this business. And it's inside the sports card industry, just sports from everything industry. And I usually, when I do something, I, I, I tend to go like a little bit more than what I probably should. Anybody that actually knows me personally knows, I can't just do something at like 75%. It's either 110 or or nothing. Like, I don't, I don't know, just, just going a million miles a minute. I've been in it for like three months. I've grown really quick, but the thing is, it's been so cash. It's been like, it's it sucked a lot of my resources, time, money, everything I've been doing has been 
been kind of shifted over there. I've been building out this product, which I have a piece of, of them sitting kind of right here, these custom boxes, which that doesn't really matter. If you guys over on the sports car side, I think you won't even know what I'm talking about. So I'm not going to go into depth on those, but we have been doing, or I've been doing everything from, we, we, we got a shrink wrap machine. Oh God, we got this fixed though. Look at this. Oh my God. Yeah. Took me a minute to figure that thing out. So yesterday I was trying to do these, these numbers. So there's, there's 20 cars are going to cost you 6,400. And then obviously the other 30, you'd be in those cars for 98.50. So the question is this, is that would be your, your cost of your goods. And it, it's like, I'm doing these, I don't know what, <laughs> I should have, sometimes I think, man, I should have just stuck to, to just making little shitty YouTube videos. I'm like, God, no, I, I gotta do this. I gotta do it. You know, C trying to create generational wealth has been, has been my goal. And this is, this has been a, it's been, a, it's been a ride so far over there. I'll tell you that much. If, if it goes down in flames, it went down in flames with me giving it my fucking all. I'll tell you that much. We were actually at the uh, the Guggen, the old Guggen headquarters. Our original, our, our now our new one, I guess you'd say, is in Frisco, where our offices are. But this is the original one. The store's been reopened, and I'm gonna go in here today. I gotta check out what we have set up for what is it? The the stream equipment. I gotta make sure we have everything here to actually run our very first Guggen whatnot live stream. And I kind of want to check out the store. I haven't been up here since we reopened anyway. Oh, and I do have something hope it's in here yes it is look at this you guys remember this from a video i'm gonna get back to making these as well i've been talking to gabe i actually have a place where i can start destroying some guns again this one's this one was destroyed i'm actually throw this up here at the warehouse inside the shop maybe we can put this somewhere for you guys to come up and look at this is this was a really cool video the bolt's already up here but i don't know if you guys remember this one this one we absolutely throttled wow hey what's up brother dude this thing looks amazing holy shit. I got this for you. Oh shit! That's got something bad. else. Be Where's that ass. bolt at anyway? That's right here. I got I it. I think tank. I'm gonna build a box. So if you see that your tank around, I'll put it in a box up there. Oh shit! I forgot I even gave that to you. Yeah, yeah, man. Okay. Got that QRC. Code oh, on I, I don't know. I might. Oh yeah, that's. Oh damn, you do have everything in here. Yeah, you brought me that's quite awesome, a bit. That's awesome, dude. I know. Yeah, I think that might be the bolt for that gun. Maybe. I think it is. Yeah. So Remington, it, right? Yeah, Remington 700. That's the oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's the that is the that is it. Oh yeah. Oh dude, I'll do something badass with this. I'll put it in a box like that. I got to give you guys like a tour of the store. I just went and looked around. Oh my god, it is so cool. We've been bringing stuff in from videos. They've got box. It gets really cool. I got to give you guys. A, I, I haven't I haven't actually been up here since they've redone it, and it is and it is looks really really good. Check this up. I was also going to tell you guys, I think in the next, I'm going to give it like two to four weeks. Two to four weeks, I'm going to have a significant amount of time on my hand. I have another guy I'm hiring that's coming in from Kentucky to help me break. Uh, I just hired another kid. So I have two full-time breakers and then I come on myself over there. It's like I said, I just literally have, I would say I've, I've got a significant amount of, I, it's, it's just, I have to make sure it's not going to fail before I go back. Because right now I'm filming and editing everything myself over here on Lonkers for you guys. And then I still got to run the podcast. And then it's just, oh, I've stacked so much on my plate. But God, I bless. I miss this. I miss those things. I think that bottom one is my first double digit. It might be that top. These are literally mounts that are mine that I forgot. These are in the ones in the original Guggen house as well. Remember I caught that one with Peric on a tiny, tiny, tiny square bill. That's with Outlaw. Those two, I think, I don't remember which one was my first double digit. That video, God, I remember that. That was that was that was a good day. No, it was with flair. That was with flair. All right, so I, I kind of got it done, just a little bit. I know the lighting looks a little eh, miserable. But I got one mic there. I got another one over there. We're actually gonna have a camera. So like one of the cameras gonna be hanging from right here. There's gonna be another one that's gonna be coming up right through here, looking this way. Then we'll be able to rotate through different um, views, I guess. I'm also gonna have another camera that's going to run out this wall right here into this corner that's actually gonna be looking out into the store. So we're actually running the cast over on whatnot or the stream over on whatnot. The cast doesn't make any sense. Love running the stream on whatnot. We wanna grab some more items, maybe through from the store. You guys wanna see what's going on in the store? We just hit the button. You guys can see a live feed into the the actual storefront, which I'm gonna show you guys here in a second, which has been completely revamped. It's Amazing. But this is gonna be a lot of fun. A lot of you guys that aren't able to actually come to the store and buy anything. Uh, I've always wanted to make the trip down to Texas. You're now about to see what it's like now, but you also will have the opportunity to buy some stuff directly from myself, Rackley, and John through the whatnot. So if you guys want to check it out, like I said, it's always linked to the top of the description. It'll take you right over the Guggen Squad whatnot page, which we just set up. So it's gonna be brand new. There's gonna be a lot of followers on it. Check it out. It's gonna be fun. So we're good here. That is set up now. Now I don't have to worry about that, but I want to show you guys the inside of the store before I leave. I really, I really want to show you guys. It looks absolutely phenomenal. He's done a great job on it. 
So if you guys have not seen the store, my guy John, which is running around in the corner over there, John, you guys will see him up here every once in a while. Actually, every every time you guys come in, you guys will probably see him, but he did an absolute phenomenal job on the inside of the store now. I mean, I haven't seen it since he put these plexiglass cases up here, but I guess you guys can see when you guys come in here all along the walls inside of here now, like he's got inside these, these plexis, these little plastic cases. You can hit this and it'll give you every single, what'd you say, the tutorial video on just so this? So, there, so yeah, it brings up the Google lag. So everything inside that box is, is recommended for, I guess, myself, Rackley, or whoever whoever made the video at that time. And we, we tell you guys what's in there. It's kind of cool. I mean, he's got everything inside of here. It's even got a, a I guess, full-blown, semi-full-blown bar that's probably got, no one else has probably got beer inside the fridge if I was a gamble man. Is this, there's a little bit of beer in there. There's no Bud Light in there, which is a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a, you know what, that's in there too. That looks good. So some of the stuff's from our, from the house. I don't recall where that came from. I know this is the original Guggen Squad logo, which I think I showed you guys before. That's also in here. But it's got a lot of cool stuff all the way through here. I, I haven't been in here since he's done all this. Last I think I last time I came in here, none of this was done. So this is awesome. Like a badass little lounge area. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if you know where he got that from, but that's pretty cool. Fish tank looks like it's been through hell and back, which it has. This is I think this might be the original one. I don't really know. I know. This is a new one. Yeah, the last one cracked. Uh, that is the original one. That is the original thing that's on the inside that you guys have seen before. But this looks good. What, what, did, what is this from, dude? So those are found from a lady in Denton, and she had them on Facebook Marketplace. Dude, that's a coffin. It's a coffin. So they were actually set on a platform as displays for uh, funeral homes. And uh, I decided oh. to grab it and do something with this. Okay. Coffin, I, tax I didn't realize I got a coffin. Yeah, I like it. It works. Yeah. Okay, it's actually literally a coffin. And then there's all this. He's done a really good job. Done a really, 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 really good job. I mean, this is so cool seeing all this stuff, especially these photos. I was actually, I was reminiscing a little bit on some of these ones on this wall right here, the the, the uh, outboards and inboards, the bathroom area. But like some of this stuff from a long time ago, like this, this is a long time ago. That's a long time ago. This original photos from like, I mean, this is, this is a really, really, really long time ago. That's right when we dropped the Guggen rods. It's me and Flair at his ranch. First time we had iCast. That's when Mike left us back at the other house. That was a long time ago. It was like the third video ever. Yeah, that's when you guys introduced yeah. uh, Rackley, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, oh, that was. Yeah, that's when we introduced Rackley. That was at the old house. Yeah. That's true. That's when Flair was being a little bitch when he was getting his first tattoo with me. Mm. This is cool. I like this shit, buddy. Yeah. Tank rounds. Uh, the original. Do <laughs> uh, you want a John's original drones is inside of here, too? Uh, that's cool. That's cool to see as well. This is cool, bud. You did a really good job. I'm just happy to see it all. Actually, I mean, it's big. It's really big now. Yeah, I want to bring it to life, man. Just and a lot of you guys may not know this, but this right here was the very first thing. We actually had uh, inside the old house, the original house. That was behind us. That was sent to us by MTV. That thing right there is kind of cool. I can't believe the thing's made it this long. That's like the very first piece of like art that we put up inside the house. It was like the thing that sat behind us at the podcast studio. And then there's a chunk of a car from the old Nelk video. I don't know, this, is, this is cool to see. Some of the prototypes that were updated all the way through how they got to where they were from frogs. And Which, by the way, I have some of that stuff which we're actually going to be selling on whatnot. I have some of the original design that we haven't. Really? Yeah, I have a whole bunch of stuff that I found in my garage. I, I'm going to keep going through it. Hi, right, buddy. I'm going to get out of here. This is really cool. Though. You did a really good job. Man, it feels pretty good. I, I really want to, I'm telling you, maybe two to four weeks, maybe a month from now, it'll be good to like just kind of do things. Like, I, I want to go on camping trips. I want to go to Colorado. I, I, I am going to be doing that this year, 100%. I feel like I need to get, I, I'm back. I told you guys last week I am. I'm just trying to find the time. There's just so much going on. <laughs> I, I kind of forgot we bought that. Oh, God. The last thing I bought on Facebook Marketplace was an absolute dump. I think it was at the claw machine that you guys have seen on my stream, if you guys have been over there. That was the last thing. So thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I'm, I, I am. I'm back. Slowly getting back into it. I told you guys I'd be back, and I am. I do love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll catch you guys later.